Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> You're out here in Oklahoma. Enid, to be exact. Wanted to film yesterday. But... Uh, suicidal insects took over my windshield, so... Y'all wouldn't have been able to see anything except the remains. So I figured I'd wait till I get it cleaned off and then we could start to do some filming again. It's been off for some time now. Um, today, what is today's date? March 25th, 2020. Right in the thick of the quarantines just to keep on trucking. This is a new truck stop right there, the Loves. Out here in Enid, E I or E N I D. We go make a delivery. We got three deliveries today and a pickup hopefully we can get our pickup done actually you know what today is the 26th it's a Thursday a day late and a dollar short little quiet out there today and I'm just like north east of where my son is at Fort Sill and I can't go see him even if I was in Fort Sill I would not be able to see him that's just a matter of being patient so when he gets done we'll be able to see him a little bit rough so we got uh Today we're going to go to this delivery here in Enid and then go to Oklahoma City and then up to uh, Broken Arrow over by Tulsa and then our load picks up tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm going to shoot for today it basically is I'll be done in about four hours it's 8 30 8.40 actually local time which is central so I'm going to be done 24 hours ahead of schedule so we'll see what happens otherwise we'll be sitting but at least we're still working that's the main thing Empire. <laughs> the names they come up with.
dookie. It's like downtown Enid. So they got this, what are they doing at practice? Um, social distancing. Let me change this light real quick. There we go. Um, but. You know, if you're a family and you guys are all okay, and you're walking down can't be next to him, six feet away. I think that seems might be a bit odd. I don't know if if you're in that situation, just don't uh, be out walking the streets. Huh? Our next street here is the one we want. Yeah. This be it. so long. Thinking it's going to be right here, but we'll see. See you in a minute. That wasn't too bad. Got done with there and I actually forgot to film when I was leaving, but we got it fired up. We are on our way to Oklahoma City. There we go down there and unload a few pallets and then head up over to Broken Arrow over by Tulsa, Oklahoma. Haven't been to the OK in a while. Good to be back. Drive around those dips, potholes, hazards in the road. Right in the line of fire. Okay, see you in a bit. Oklahoma City, here we come. Whoa, get where are you guys going? 
get back over here. Right they're doing a little home improvement down here downtown OKC. We just got done doing a pretty hard blind side back in to get unloaded. I should have filmed it, but I had to get in gear and get it moving as traffic was being held up. But we got her in there pretty good, knocked it out. Now we're up to Headed to Broken Arrow, just east, a little southeast of Tulsa. And we'll be done. It's 11.43, about an hour and a half away, hour and 45 minutes. Some of these drivers are pretty, pretty bad out here. Like I did a U-turn, plenty of time. And then uh, as I straighten out my U-turn, there's a pickup truck right on my trailer, right at the, right the very back. He wasn't nowhere around, it's like he sped up as soon as I started doing a turn so that he could then be a jerk like he was. Had a child with him in the car. There's no reason. He was speeding. He was doing all kinds of stuff. Ridiculous. Totally uncalled for. Slingshot. There's nobody behind me, that's why I got in this left lane there. In case anybody was wondering why I did that over there at the light, I look ahead. Scene Construction Junction. to make a loopy loop around here. Loopy loop again to 235 north. Go up to the 44 and head on over to Tosa. So I had a, a viewer ask me a while ago, how do you, how can your windshields always so clean, clear through, you can see, as of course you can tell right now, it's not like that. But last year what I did was I carried a squeegee, full size, when you find it, 
truck stop. A five gallon bucket in the back with a lid on it. Just throw water in there. And every chance I could when I was done, stopped or whatever, in the morning I could be in the middle of nowhere. And I was able to clean my windshield. Which is what I did all the time, just so that you guys could have a good clear view. So, I don't have that with me at the moment. But it's time to bring her back out. Oklahoma Highway Patrol State Trooper. He was on our tail there at uh, our last 360 turn. I guess not 360, would that be 300? 330, 320. Anyway, we're off and rolling. I will see you up there. Hopefully, like our load delivers tomorrow, or load picks up tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I'm a hoping and I'm a praying that I can get her done today. Go get unloaded and then boogie on over there and see if I can get loaded. It'd be nice. I got the whole rest of my day. I got. I still have seven hours left to drive today. It's a lot of money I'd be put on hold, but I still have a job, so I will not rip it apart too much. And I keep my distancing from people, you know, I. I'm not all worried and scared like everybody else. Of course, I do not want to catch it. Um, but like I did get a flu shot earlier in the year, or the season, I guess, last year. Um, so I think if I did end up catching it, I don't think it would be as bad. However, we still don't want to play around with it. I quit smoking five years ago, so my lungs are all rebuilt and healed. No underlying issues. So I think I'd be aight. Use my feet to open the doors most of the time. And if not, I use my hands, I don't sweat it, and then I just wash them. It's a matter of just being smart about what you do and not being like Joe Biden and touching my face and coughing into my hand. You're supposed to cough into your shoulder, your sleeve. It is a little bit tougher to find food, but not too bad. I mean, we can still find it. Go to Walmart, get some, get some lunch meats and stuff like that. Some frozen dinners. I buy the healthy choice ones that are mostly steamers, so in there five minutes. They're pretty healthy stuff. That's what I use. Try to stay away from all the fat, the high sodium concentrate and stuff.
fuel tank finally slowed down enough to let me get over. If I really needed to, but... Red Earth. Quite the construction job there, guys. They're doing 43 and a 45. Those right there, see those green steel bars? They put those in between the expansion joints that they put in the highway. It keeps them from getting, you know, propping up and creating a little hump, which makes you go boom, 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 boom. Back into the speed cruise again. See you in Tulsa. So you saw those green steel bars. They put horizontally across the expansion joints. They do that when they build the highways now, but if a highway's already been built, what they do is see these slots in the highway, if you've ever seen them and want to know what they are. What they did was they cut out each one of them joints. Six slots per lane. So there's 12 slots on each one of them lines, expansion joint. They cut it out, put, dropped in a steel rod, and then cemented it back up. Then they go in and then they'll shave the top of the concrete and you have a nice smooth ride like we have now. So if you ever wondered what them three lines on each one of the tire marks are, that's what it is. We want Tulsa East, so both of these lanes are okay. This guy comes speeding up in his truck over here. Are we slowing down? I guess we are. Lane ends, merge left. I guess we weren't quite on 44. Do not impede left lane. Okay, so I figured I'd just show you guys that. See you in a bit. Okay, well, we got unloaded. Then I went over to my pickup that picks up tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. to see if we could be loaded today. And by golly, we got right in there. We got loaded up, so now we're headed to Vegas. We got about five and a half hours left today to drive, so it's roughly what? Three 
300 miles roughly. 320. So we'll knock that out today and get to uh, Lost Wages, which is shut down. I'll get some video of that, I reckon. We are right in the midst of evening traffic. As you can see, it's pretty nice. Noise, noise. We'll get on the turnpike here, get on down to OK City and Highway 40 westbound to Albuquerque. I reckon we'll go through Flagstaff, Arizona. And then go down to Kingman. And then up, I think it's 93 or 95, up into Henderson and then Vegas. So I got eight rolls of paper, big old huge toilet paper rolls. <laughs> it's like it looks like toilet paper, big old white roll. But they're huge. They're like what six, seven foot tall. Um, we'll take them to Vegas. I don't know if we'll unload because it unloads on the 30th of March which is Monday and I'm going to be there Saturday morning which would be the 28th so I don't think they're going to have me sitting around it is a possibility though junk right there. I think there's supposed to be some uh, storms headed our way. I don't know. I should probably do some research and find out for sure. <sighs> See you in a bit. Okay, we made it to Highway 40. He called us the, I call it, the Trucker's Highway. 
it's like a main artery to haul freight back and forth east to the west west to the east Yeah, pretty good news. They're going to have me drop this off in Vegas in our yard so I won't have to hang out. It'll be there Saturday morning and it delivers Monday morning so basically it'd be there two days. So that'll keep me rolling. Like if they weren't shut down, it wouldn't be that bad. But being everything is shut down, you can't really do anything. Vegas wouldn't be a whole lot of fun to hang out for the weekend. So we'll keep the wheels spinning. in Oklahoma City now be Amarillo by morning <laughs> I don't know I have to do the math maybe we'll be there tonight I actually haven't bothered looking but with that being said we'll call this one a wrap uh, thanks again for riding shotgun Apologize for not getting out very many videos, but I will get back on it. Keep them rolling. So thanks again for riding shotgun with Mountain Man Mike. Till the next time, enjoy. Peace.